irrespective of what people's view are about him. It is only God's view that counts. Somebody may tell you that, look, it is not your right to receive this. Is that what God is telling you? And you may believe it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me tell you something, beloved. What you believe determines what happens in your life. What you believe determines what happens to your destiny. What you believe determines what people will capitalize on to affect your life. If somebody believes that he cannot get promotion, Bible says promotion does not come from the east, not from the west. It comes from God. He lifts some people up and he brings some people down. And God said, you are going to be promoted. And because this is the level your faith is, you thought it is impossible. It shall be impossible. We have a kind of belief pattern that we have come to appreciate as black people, which is dangerous and tantamount to failure. I want to give you some instance. You know, if we look at the word belief, belief is something that you trust that will happen to you. It may be the truth, it may be a lie. There are some people now, it is their belief culture that has limited them to where they are. I know some people that have said that in their tribe, they cannot pass over water. For that reason, they cannot travel abroad. Their belief limited them from success. They cannot fly over water. The person that started that belief never told them what will happen. And then they said never experimented. Thank God for scientists. They have to prove it. If it's not proven, it is an hypothesis. What are the things they have told you that you have come to believe that is affecting your destiny somebody? You cannot succeed. He said, you are stood there to stammer the Lord. And they say you are going to give uh, a speech to an audience of 500 people. Look at you. And you begin to believe that you cannot speak. Have you tried to speak? The people that are speaking, what makes them different from you? What did they do to make them perfect their speech? Have you tried all those stuff? They say, they look at you and they say, you are not good enough, you are not qualified. You are not qualified because you believe what they have told you about yourself. Nobody can make you until you choose to make yourself. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. I want us to know something, that that Jewish ruler in the synagogue, he had been seeing that woman for 18 years. Though he may have sympathy for her, he could not do anything to help her. Though he may love her as a neighbor, he could not do anything to save her. Though he might have been thinking about several things about her, but there was, there was nothing he could do to save the woman's condition. And somebody, a stranger from heaven came and touched something in the woman's life when he spoke those words and said, woman, every bondage is your life. You are loose from them. And somebody question your liberty. I don't know what the devil has held you with before we started this program. And I was told by God, even through my fellow ministers, that God has left every shackles that have bound you and you are free. He that God has set free is free indeed. Who is that person that will question that now? God said you are free. Somebody said you are not free. Who is that person? Which authority will prevail in your life? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. I want you to know something, beloved. That the Almighty God wants to do great things that eyes have not seen in your life. But the problem God is having with you is that you believe certain things that God doesn't believe concerning you. What are the things you are believing now that is not in accordance with the word of God. They told you you are going to be a failure. As you try first time, you failed. You try second time, you failed. You try third time, you failed. And you resign to the decision and say, after all, I am a failure. And you begin to carry that bag of failure. Positive things will not happen again because you have closed the door. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, I want you to know something, somebody. The Jews believe that no healing or any remarkable thing should be done on the Sabbath day. What is the Sabbath? The Sabbath is the day of rest. Okay? If you look at 
the Hebrew word for Sabbath. It is still Sabbath, but the meaning goes beyond what English calls it. It is the day of peace, <clears throat> not even rest. It is the day of peace. The word Sabbath means peace. That is to just relax. God is in control. And somebody healed on that day. If you look that same text that we read for you, if you look another part of it in Mark, Jesus said one word to that man in the temple. He said, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. And the Bible confessed that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. If the man of God who owns peace, speak peace into your life, who can speak violence again to you? The one that been bound. I don't know one problem you have had that is above one day, maybe above one week, above one month, above one year. Begin to think how you feel about that problem. If they tell you, bring certain money for this problem to go, you will give it. But you cannot equate problem with money and vice versa. You may not understand what that woman went through. For 18 years, she was bound in infirmity. She could not do anything like any normal woman did. For 18 years, I want to tell you that for that 18 years, that woman might have lost her husband. Because I know men are not ready to live with a woman that has too much problem. You married a woman, she was so charming and bright. Suddenly you discover that she had downing syndrome. And she began to bring spit from her mouth. Where will you keep her? It's either she goes to her parents or she stays in that balcony and that backyard door where nobody will always see her because you see her and you call her embarrassment. Or you, you have that woman that will eat and excrete her. And yeah. There are problems like that where somebody would excrete and wants to eat it. It's not insanity, it's sickness. So it affects some part of the nerves in the brain. You cannot think right again. What will you do to that woman? You put her where people will not see you with her. Especially if you are a prominent person in the society. When they ask you, where is your wife? She's fine. If they ask you another question, they say, what is your problem? Because you don't want to go further. That is the place that your sadness is. You don't want anybody to, to go further. In the case of this woman, the Bible did not mention where the family was. But I believe in my heart that everybody has abandoned her. But I tell you something, somebody, that when men have forgotten you, when men have abandoned you, that is where God will discover you. Amen. If people say it is over with you, that is when God is saying it's just starting with you. Amen. I tell you, somebody, you are a project in the hands of the Almighty God. Amen. You are not abandoned. In that cause, you will not leave you. He will not forsake you until he fulfills that which he has spoken concerning you. Amen. It doesn't matter what they have said about your life before. But do you believe what they said? Some of you will go out on the street when you were in Nigeria. Even your parents still do that. When somebody comes in the name of God, ringing bell in the morning, on Saturday and Sunday especially. There's somebody here, her name is Teresa on these streets. Every person that is a Teresa, the mother will run out. And they will say a lot of things. Even my mother will do it. My own mother. Bring water and bring salt into the water. And let us pray. They tell me the Bible salt is the, com is the medium of competition with my God. That without salt, God will not answer me. Everything that the devil has used to hold you bound. Be loose in Jesus' name. Yeah.